Is welcome to another commentary done by Diggity in the upper hand corner. We have June starting as the green Protoss, upper left hand corner. We have Tim starting as the red Protoss. Whoever wins this moves on to the semifinals, I believe, in the winner's bracket. And then that's one hop, jump, and a skip away from the grand finals from there. This is a double elimination tournament. This is going to be on Polypoid, and where I've been favoring Jayun to make it all the way, Tim is actually going to be some trouble for him. Because Tim is a solid, solid Protoss player. And on top of that, Jayun is fairly, I would say, from what I've seen, his weakest matchup is PvP. He's still having trouble figuring that particular matchup out in the grouping. I feel like versus Terran, he plays very greedy and has a lot of success. Versus Zerg, he's incredibly strong. But last time I checked on him, in PvP, a lot of his... What, what he oftentimes opts to do is just open up a Dark Templar build not even necessarily to take out his opponent, but mostly to just try to survive to the mid game and try to catch up from there. And we'll see if that ends up being the play from here. At least that's the last time I saw you. Just basically he was kind of exploring with just wanting builds to more or less survive rather than to at least the early game. And he does have really, I, th I think that might pattern off more of what he was doing in his Zerg game. In his Zerg game, he liked playing more a defensive macro style so I'm wondering if he's just hoping to be that likewise in the Protoss frame. But I feel like Protoss, you got to be a little bit greedy. You got to have a greedy heart. That's what it comes down to. Greedy, relaxed heart. Insult all the pro. I, is that an insult or is that a compliment? I'm not sure. Tim going to get first scout into the top right base. Jayun going to scout bottom right, so he's going to come across Tim's base last. I'm going to say what's up to Optimator in Twitch chat land. Looks like Jayun's already plopped down gas, so he's not opening up double gate. We do have an assimilator up on Tim's side as well. So in the cybernetic score, this is actually a little bit dangerous sometimes. Although I guess not in this situation. Cybernetic score are going to be sealing that probe in if it could come around. But sometimes what can happen is, and actually Jayun getting involved in probe fights, which is going to delay his gas a little bit. He is going to move that probe caddy corner, realizing the timing of that probe. Showing his level of skill and building an initial zealot just in case. <clears throat> but sometimes what probes can do is they can sneak back here, drop a pylon, and seal themselves in. Which can, with a forge, or especially if they were going for like a 12 gate, or anyway. Point being, there's, every once in a while, I've heard that can be a dangerous situation in PvP. So sealing up your back is uh, not always a, a favorable thing to do. Anyway, Zealot chasing down the probe in Tim's base, chasing down the probe opposite side right now. Things are basically dead even. And again, I really want to see, this is kind of the action I want to see, is once this probe's taken care of, does Jayun opt to go for that DT style I saw him trying to practice with and make work all that time ago? Or is he going to, to play some other style? Or just go for some standard macro whatnot? I'm curious to see what his, because I haven't been able to catch a lot of his streams lately. I think he's been in transition as well. Probe going to exit the base. Range is still going, and it looks like we do see the Citadel of Adun, so it looks like he is planning on opening Dark Templar. We'll see if Tim... If Tim knows what Jayun's up to, and he, he might even have an opportunity to just hard counter him and more or less just go one gate robo into expand. Jayun, his probe getting pushed back. Neither player losing their scouting probe. And Jayun setting up to go ahead, and I, we'll see if he goes for... Nexus before Templar Archives, or if he's just going to go Templar Archives straight. I'm not sure what he's kind of done with his overall build order adjustment. And his figuring out of like the oh, the very safe opener just to get you into the mid game, get your two bases up. In the meantime, Tim is going to drop his second gateway. Going to peek out to the corner, drop a pylon there just to, just in case there drops something along those lines. It looks like it is going to be Templar Archives. So Templar Archives range, which at the end of the day is going to give Jayun, it looks like three Dragoons, a Dark Templar, a modicum of map control off that Dark Templar and the ability to go ahead and grab his natural expansion without too much worry of getting hard busted. Honestly, if I was Tim game two, knowing Jayun's playstyle, I almost might want to go for like a three gate robo bust or something along those lines. Tim pocketing a probe to the north. He's got a nice wall of units. Jayun wanting to maybe slot through the south. Can you see that? So yeah, it looks like he can barely see that probe should be spotted. So Tim not. There he goes. Single shotting him. <clears throat> That's going to put Tim one probe ahead. And is actually a little bit ahead in the overall economy. First Dark Templar being produced. 
and Tim making his way across, initially just to see if units were coming to meet him. He does have that robotics facility about a fourth the way finished. It looks like he's just going to go, yeah, two-gate robo and play from there. The probe, another probe sneaking out. So pylon being dropped at the 12 o'clock to do any shuttle spotting. And another probe going to make its way out. Is it going to drop another pylon at the 9 o'clock? We'll see, just to make sure. So he's, yeah, being extra careful with this. Dark Templar making its way out. Tim's going to end up losing some units potentially to this, but barreling forward regardless with five Dragoons. So he's going to end up, well, maybe he can do some damage to this Nexus. He's working against a high ground advantage, doesn't have detection, and is taking damage from this DT. This is, again, why Jayun likes playing this style, because regardless, like, you get that natural expansion up. And sometimes you can do some punishment like this. Let's see how long it lasts, because we do have an observatory warping in. In the meantime, Jayun hunting down these units, though. And Tim might be in a situation here, if he doesn't preserve some units, where Jayun, regardless of whether there's detection or not, might be able to just burst through with a few DTs, just because there's not enough, even with the Observer, to stop him. Dragoon holding the pipe. While the Dark Templar is making his way forward, there are a slew of Dragoons behind this, so Jayun might want to back up. Yeah, go ahead and back up. But this is going to deny that natural expansion. And that's going to allow Jayun to go ahead and get that Nexus up a little bit earlier. He's got Photon Cannons warping in, already has a High Templar in place, and Psystorm about halfway finished. Which again will, this style of play, and I wouldn't be shocked to see him play this again next round, but this is just more or less to make sure he gets into the mid game in a decent position. And he's actually going to end up in a pretty decent economic situation because Tim right now is just dropping that Nexus and that natural expansion is already saturated on Jayun's side. So the onus is going to be on Tim to make something happen with what he's fielding. Looks like that Dark Templar taking a bit of fire, but surviving nevertheless. Might be able to get this probe kill at the 9 o'clock if he sneaks out that direction. Tim going to follow up, continue to press forward. Jayun's side storms need to be actually solid engaging this. Because this is enough Dragoons where they, they could pose some trouble. Seeing the Dark Templar, or sorry, seeing the High Templar, no, they're going to engage. Two Dragoons down. And that leaves... Five Dragoons on the front versus three and another Psy Storm in the bank. With more units coming, four gateways being dropped. In a minute, Jayun should be able to outproduce Tim. So Tim needs to make sure he preserves these units. The Dark Templar are looking to maybe make an end around and sneak. It looks like that Observer is holding at the natural. Dragoons fanning out just in case there was a drop. Dark Templar poking away at that forward pylon. They are able to bait that second Psy Storm out. That's one problem with this, though, is, is that you only get so many size storm. And now the Dragoon's going to continue to assault that front, but Jayun has enough follow-up troops. Between this, reinforcements, and some high ground advantage along that edge, Tim really can't poke much further. Jayun with a three-worker lead. Dark Templar wandering up. is going to be able to sneak into the natural expansion, not for long. Does see that shuttle, though. So DT's wiped out. So Tim may be thinking about going for some reaver drops. He does have that robotic support bay behind this. <clears throat> More Psy Storm being dropped on the front, however, softening up those Dragoons. So Jayun going to be able to bully those units back. Natural expansion pretty well saturated. So now, see how Jayun opts to play it. Going to be very late with his own observatory. Additional gateway plopping down. Not He hasn't really made motions towards a third. Is in a decent... Again, he's got a sizable economic lead, but a Reaver starting to move out. One advantage with having some Psy Storm in the bank is, is you can just drop Storm on that shuttle if you can find it. And it can be very, very problematic. It looks like there are pylons to go ahead and spot this shuttle as it makes its way in. However, the defensive units, you can't really Psy Storm to defend your probes at the main. Two Dragoons just now popping out. It looks like now they're going to be able to wander up, but that... There is a cannon as well. So Reaver lands. The shot looks like it's going to be a dud. Jayun backing his units off. The Reaver's down. Second dud. So Tim, now in a desperate situation, lost his Reaver and his shuttle for nothing. Down 10 supply. Down a lot of workers. Eating more Psy Storm over that third. And now, maybe in some trouble, might end up losing 
all these Dragoons on his front. Psystorm obliterating the rest of this army. Jayun now starting to push units over. Has, a, has just opened up a huge supply lead. Tim does have a Reaver. I don't see any additional High Templar trailing. It looks like Jayun going to try to sneak in, separate the Dragoons so he can take out that Reaver. Doing a pretty good job of doing so. Wiping it out very rapidly. High Templar moving up. Still has Psystorm. And if he drops that in the natural, that would be dangerous. And so Tim going to GG right there. Well played by Jayun. Winning at what is one of his weaker matchups. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Going to move on to game two momentarily.